Uh, I was um, um, artificially serious, which created extreme mental constipation. <laughs> constipation. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Yeah, yeah. It, it, so it it it, it uh, uh, took a little while to get mental relief that way, and I realized that humor fits in. And one thing I realized is Prabhupada was so much funnier than most of us thought, because um, Prabhupada talks about in the preface to every Bhagavatam, he talks about the verse though imperfectly composed. Uh, honest men will accept what he says. And in the purport, Prabhupada says, I'm speaking in a foreign language. Therefore, there'll be imperfections. When Prabhupada's saying that, he's not talking about his English because his vocabulary is more expansive than mine. Rather, he's talking about the cultural differences. And one of those is some of the jokes he would say, when I listen to Prabhupada, now I see it went over our head. I'll tell you one, one funny one. When my wife first met Prabhupada, um, after I got back from India, now, I'd lived in India. I was a teacher in the village. So the uh, Indian accent when speaking English in no way was an issue for me. I could understand virtually everything. But Prabhupada had his Bengali accent. And when my wife first met Prabhupada, uh, she was asking a question. And then Prabhupada started answering. And she had that look in her face. Prabhupada understood she couldn't understand, so he turns to me. It's very funny what he said. And he goes, of course, he was speaking English, and he turn, turns to me and goes, translate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that's brilliant. Translate. <laughs> that's, that's really funny. And, 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 and the way Prabhupada said it, too. And Prabhupada often had that sparkle in his eyes. And I'm just guessing. I mean, I no way I can know, but I'm guessing it was frustrating for Prabhupada that we couldn't get his jokes because he joked around a lot. And, and sometimes when he joked around, um, uh, when he did joke around, he would um, uh, wonder why, you know, we didn't understand it. And, and I saw when Prabhupada with his god brothers, they'd be laughing hysterically, just joking at the kind of things we would joke. There's one story I love that Prabhupada told. Uh, one time he was with some of his senior men, including from sannyasis, and he comments, and he says, so I understand the best prostitutes are in Thailand. What do you think? And these devotees, they're mortified. And, and, so now, and I, what, 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 how would I know? And then Prabhupada says, you might know something about this. And they're horribly embarrassed because some of them really do know. And, and they just don't know what to say. Finally, one of them blurts out, said, Prabhupada, how do you know that? <laughs> and, and Prabhupada says, well, when I used to sit in the barber shop way back, this is what people would talk about. And he would hear it. So Prabhupada would come up with these incongruous statements. 